All of the functionality of the Blasting Room Signature Series drum instrument is accessible via four interface tabs, Grooves, Kit Select, Mixer, and Key Map. In this video, we will demonstrate the features of the Mixer tab. The top portion of the Mixer tab contains a channel for every available microphone position. Each channel has the controls you would expect, such as volume, pan, solo, mute, and polarity, which is useful for blending the library samples with an acoustic drum performance or other drum sample libraries. The full mic bleed switch toggles full microphone bleed on and off. When recording a live drum kit in the studio, the sound from each kit piece will bleed into all other microphones on the drum kit. This microphone bleed is often desirable and can result in a cohesive quality to the drum sound. Blasting Room Signature Series Drums offers two levels of microphone bleed. With the full mic bleed option enabled on the kit selection tab, all mixer channels will include bleed from every kit piece. This mode takes up quite a bit more RAM and CPU power than when full mic bleed is deactivated. When the full microphone bleed button is deactivated, microphone bleed is restricted to the overhead and room microphone channels. All other close microphone channels will only play back sounds from their respective kit pieces. For example, with full mic bleed deactivated, playing a snare drum will result in sound coming through the snare top, snare side, snare bottom, overhead, and room microphones, but not through the kick drum, toms, or spot cymbal microphone channels. Each mixer channel has channel-specific effects and routing options. To adjust these parameters, start by clicking the relevant mixer channel name. Each of the 16 mixer channels has a 5-slot DAW-style insert rack. Available effects include many processors based on the console and high-end outboard gear at the blasting room, high- and low-pass filters, a 4-band parametric EQ, FET compressor, 4K channel compressor, 4K bus compressor, limiter, distortion, transient shaper, and tape saturation. Effects can be moved between slots while maintaining their settings by clicking the pull-down menu at the right of the currently engaged insert slot. Next up is the reverb send section. Each channel contains four pre-configured reverb sends based on Jason Livermore's favorite outboard reverb units. Each of these reverb sends can be adjusted independently on a per-channel basis. In addition to the main output of each mixer channel, there are four pre-fader aux sends on each channel that route directly to the four auxes in the contact mixer. This is useful for setting up parallel routing and advanced signal processing chains. In the bleed controls section, the bleed of various kit pieces into the microphone channel can be adjusted. More bleed options will be available when the full mic bleed switch is activated. These controls are useful in a number of scenarios where you might wish to reduce but not eliminate certain bleed elements. For example, a common problem with the snare top microphone is bleed from the hi-hats. This can make applying effects like compression difficult, but with the bleed controls, we can turn down the hi-hat bleed in the snare top microphone. Simply select the snare top channel and then adjust the hi-hat slider to the desired level of bleed. Another useful implementation of bleed controls is for room microphones. Often, room mics are used to extend the transient and ambience of drum shells, but cymbals can clutter up the mix and reduce the clarity of the kit. Using the bleed controls, we can selectively turn down the cymbals, leaving the shells at their original level in the room mics. This will allow greater flexibility when using dynamic range shaping tools like compressors and limiters on the room microphones. 
Adjusting the global master slider will globally adjust the bleed amounts on all close microphone channels, but not on the overhead microphones or room microphones. This option is disabled when full mic bleed is disengaged. The channel info pane displays information about the currently selected microphone channel, including the microphone, preamp, and information about the microphone's placement. Finally, the channel output routes the selected channel to an output in the contact mixer. For routing a stereo instance of the plugin, this should be set to master. This section can also be used to route each microphone position to a discrete channel in your DAW, making it possible to mix the drums exactly as if you had recorded them with live mics. The Master Channel Effects button brings up the master channel effects for any audio tracks routed to the master output in the channel output selector. This makes it easy to apply effects to the sum drum kit mixer channels and enables top-down style mix processing. For more information on the Blasting Room Signature Series drums or any of our other products, visit our website at www.roomsound.com.